Welcome to Blaine High School, home of the Bengals. When you graduate, you will not only get a high school diploma, but a warm welcome into the world of adulthood. This is your time to focus on who you want to become, not only as a student, but as a person, a friend, an employee, and a member of your community. Explore your interests, try something new, get involved, and always know that we believe in you and are here to support you on your journey. If you're coming from middle school, you know that keeping track of assignments in seven classes a day and remembering whether it's a day one or day two on top of any after school activities requires a lot of organization. You'll be happy to know that your high school schedule will be much simpler with only five classes a day and no alternating days. Each class will end on the last day of the trimester, so you'll get a fresh start with new classes every three months. Your classes will also start a little earlier at 7.45 in the morning, so by 2.20 in the afternoon, you're free to practice with your team, meet with your club, play with your ensemble, or just go home and relax. The highlight of your week will be bangle time on Wednesday mornings, because your first hour class won't start until 8.30. Your teachers will be meeting as collaborative teams, so feel free to sleep in if you can get a ride to school, or come on the bus and enjoy a leisurely breakfast with your friends in the cafeteria. Speaking of breakfast, Food is fuel, so make sure you eat a good breakfast at home or grab a bite to eat in the cafeteria before heading to class. Snacks will be available between first and second hour in the cafeteria in case you arrive late and need a little something extra to keep yourself going. Your student ID number is also your lunch number, so it makes it easy to remember. Each day we have four lunch periods, A, B, C, and D, and each department is assigned a half an hour for lunch. You will go to lunch with your fourth period class, but can sit in with your friends anywhere in the cafeteria. If the weather's nice, you can even sit on the patio. You can choose from a variety of meal options that include salads, wraps, burgers, and entrees, as well as a wide selection of fresh fruits and vegetables, a variety of drinks, and even desserts like cookies and ice cream. There's something for everyone. Of course, you can always bring a lunch from home as well. If you forget your lunch number, you can always check your student ID. Each year, you will get a new student ID that includes your picture, student ID number, grade, and school year. You will need it to get into some Blaine High School events or activities. But your student ID can also be helpful outside of school as well. Everyone has to show an ID to get on an airplane now, and your student ID counts as a valid ID at the airport. It can also be a legal form of identification if you need to get a copy of your social security card or birth certificate. Most importantly, you can use it to remember your lunch number, which is the same as your student ID. If you're coming to Blaine High School from another school in our district, you will be happy to know that your login information will stay the same. To keep your account safe, though, we will have you change your password at the beginning of each school year. If you're new to us, your login will be easy to remember because it will be the first five letters of your first name, an underscore, first five letters of your last name, and the last three digits of your student ID. Once your password is set, if you forget it or think your account has been hacked, you can ask any teacher to reset your password at any time. If you're still having problems, stop into the tech office in the IMC and they will help you fix it. Sometimes it takes more than just a snack when you're feeling overwhelmed. We have a team of people who care about you and are ready to support you. Your school counselor and assistant principal are expecting you and looking forward to getting to know you. Stop in and say hello, send an email, or give them a call. They're happy to help. Your teachers are also on your side and want to do everything they can to help you be successful. Every Thursday between second and third periods, you will have a chance to meet with your teachers or case manager to get help with your tests or assignments. This intervention time, or I time, is a chance for your teachers to connect with you or for you to reach out to them to get help in your classes. If you don't receive an email from a teacher to attend their intervention class, you can choose to go to work with any of your teachers or to stay in your second period class. Go to the IMC or sit in the cafeteria for individual or small group quiet study time. In addition, we have a talented group of specialists to help with specific challenges you may face. Need to find a good book? Stop in the IMC and chat with our librarian. Need help with food, clothing, or housing? Our social work has connections to many resources to help you and your family. Trouble with technology? We have a team of technology experts that can troubleshoot your issues. Need help picking a college or career? Drop by the Career Counselor's Office to discover your options. We're here to help. If you need more support in your classes, we have two great resources to help you. 
Spangle Junction is a peer tutoring program held in the Social Studies Resource Center, or SSRC, right after school, Monday through Thursday. No need to plan ahead, just show up and sign your name. A peer tutor will be available to help you. You can choose to work on your own or meet with a small group to collaborate on a project. A writing lab is also run by our English teachers after school a couple days each week in room 157, and they're ha happy to help you with any writing assignment you have for any class. Again, no need to plan ahead, just show up and let them know what you're working on. They even provide the computers. Once you're finished, feel free to leave or stay for a few minutes to enjoy the free healthy snacks, then take the activity bus home at five o'clock. We all want to be here for you because we know that in just four short years, you have some big decisions to make. Whether you choose to go right into the workforce after graduation, enlist in the military, attend a technical college, enroll at a community college, or pursue a four-year degree at a college or university, we can help you prepare for a successful transition to the next step in your life. Throughout the school year, representatives from all branches of the military and many local colleges and universities will come visit during lunch to answer any questions you may have. In October each year, we will also hold a college fair where you can learn more about the colleges you are interested in attending and which programs they have to offer. Remember, you can always stop in to visit with our school counselor or the career counselor to learn more about your options after high school. Hearing that you'll need to decide on a career path by the end of high school can be overwhelming. Fortunately, you don't have to. Your career should involve doing things you love and do well, and most people change their mind multiple times throughout their lives. Your case manager and guidance counselor will get to know you and will be able to suggest courses, activities, and community resources that will provide you with experiences to help you decide what you want to try first. We expect that you will probably make changes to your post high school plans many times before you graduate. And don't forget, we have our own career counselor who's ready to work with you individually to explore your options as well. So poke your head in the door and introduce yourself. You won't regret it. One way you can try out a potential career is to try an elective course. While some classes are required to graduate, many are free for you to choose for yourself. Each year you are in high school, you will take fewer required classes and more elective classes until, by the time you're a senior, almost all of your classes are your choice. Blaine High School offers hundreds of courses in a broad range of areas, so you are sure to find something that interests you. Share your interests with your parents and counselor. They can help you decide which classes would be a good fit for your interests and personality. You can even plan ahead to make sure you can fit in all the courses you want to take before you graduate from high school. Along with classes at Blaine High School, you can also take classes at Anoka Technical College through STEP, the Secondary Technical Education Program. You may also be able to take college classes at Anoka Ramsey Community College or the University of Minnesota through PSEO, the Post-Secondary Education Option. If you want college credit but don't want to leave campus, you can take advanced placement or college in the school's courses for college credit without ever leaving Blaine High School. While your grades are important, don't forget that building positive relationships is just as important, if not more so. Your future employer can teach you how to do your job, but will expect that you have the people skills to collaborate with others. Learning to effectively communicate your thoughts and feelings takes time. Advocating for yourself when you need help requires practice. We all need to work at listening with an open mind while building up the courage to share our own ideas as well. It takes patience and persistence to find win-win solutions when we disagree. We want you to do well in your classes, but you are more than just grades and credits on a transcript. You're a person with your own unique personality, strengths, and challenges, and you are surrounded by others who are unique in their own ways as well. Here, you will get to know yourself as well as those around you. A great way to meet new people and build your interpersonal skills while doing something you enjoy is by participating in activities. Whether you're an athlete, a musician, a thespian, or a part of a robotics or business club, we have a group of like-minded friends waiting to meet you. Some activities require a big time commitment for several months, while others only meet occasionally. So pick what works for you. You can find a list of all the activities offered at Blaine High School by clicking on the activities page on our homepage. Starting a new school can be difficult, so what we want you to know is that we have already thought of some things that might cause you anxiety. We know that this is a big school and that it will take you a few days to find all, all your classes. So don't worry about tardies the first week of school. 
The hallways will be lined with teachers ready to help you navigate the school to find your class and will understand if you come in a few minutes late because it took you extra time to find it. At the end of the day, we have two rows of buses, curbside and diagonal, lined up from one end of the school to the other, waiting to take our students home. It can be daunting to find a bus in a sea of students in just a few minutes, so we will dismiss you 10 minutes early every day for the first week of school. That way you have extra time to get to your locker and find your bus. We will also have assistant principals waiting on the sidewalk with a list of bus assignments in case you forget your bus number and a map of the buses in the order they arrive so they can tell you where to find it. There are a lot of numbers to remember from bus numbers to lunch numbers and sometimes it's easy to forget your locker combination, especially after a long break. Don't worry, we can quickly look up your locker combination on the computer if you forget which happens more often than you might think. If your locker gets jammed or won't open, just let a teacher know and they will con contact a custodian to help you open your locker and even replace your lock if it's broken. We're excited to meet you and have planned two opportunities for you and your family to visit us before classes start. Watch your mailbox in August for information about freshman orientation as well as our open house. Freshman orientation is generally held a couple weeks before school. Buses will pick you up at your assigned bus stop that day and bring you to school where you will be met by Bengal Pride leaders. You will learn the school song, take a tour, and even participate in a mock school day before getting on the bus to head home for lunch. A week before school starts, you and your family can come visit us during open house to find your locker and classrooms and meet your teachers. See you in the fall!